Welcome back to Android Q&A. My name is Jason. This is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like, how do I transfer my iTunes library of music to an Android device? And someone who is confused about whether or not to buy the iPhone 5S or the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. You realize, my friend, these are entirely different phones. They are not comparable. One is like a Honda Civic and the other one's a Hummer. First question comes from Aziz, who's been very persistent and adamant about getting updates and news about the Nexus 10. Hey Jace, emailed you about the next Nexus 10. What's happening about it? I want to buy a tablet and I want to wait for that one, but I don't want to wait too long or regret buying something else. Well, Aziz, I haven't answered you because we try and not deal in rumor questions in the Android Q&A because when we deal with rumors, we want to make sure we have some real credible substance behind it. But I know you've been very persistent and you want the answer. So here is what we have so far. The leaked information originally came from an anonymous and unverified third-party tipster. And interestingly enough though, both EVLeaks and PocketLink have since removed the alleged images and specs. While neither of these publications specifically mentioned why they pulled down the information, it's pretty obvious that the leaked device was likely fake. Well, Aziz, you really want to take that info with a grain of salt, but you can look in the show links below, and I have a link to AndroidAuthority.com where it gives you more details about all the information we have about the Nexus 10. Benjamin Toe had an SD card question. Hi, Jace. Do you know how I can change the default storage to the SD card instead of my device storage? So, Benjamin, unfortunately, there's no reliable way to get all your apps and content to default store to your SD card. You have to do it on a per app basis. To do that, you first go to Settings, then to Application Manager, slide over to On SD Card, select the app, and select Move to SD Card. Now, there are other ways to do this, but it does require root access. This is really the simplest method. So let's talk to Mooney about whether or not he should consider the iPhone 5S or the Galaxy Note 3. No iSheet bashing, please. So, Mooney. If this is gonna be your primary device, meaning you don't have a tablet you use on a regular basis, you're gonna use this phone to read, watch movies, uh, and as a phone, then you might consider the Galaxy Note 3. I have not talked to anybody who has a Galaxy Note 3 that does not like it. Everyone seems to like it, but they are all phablet fans. I would not be a fan of the Galaxy Note 3 for my own personal use because I use tablets so much. I want a small, compact phone to complement it. I don't want a big phablet and a tablet. They're too similar, right? Now, I also use iOS uh, 7 on a regular basis on my iPad mini, and I use the Nexus 7 all on a daily basis. I like iOS 7. There are many things that are good about it. And if you like a small form factor, you like gorgeous uh, you know, build quality, you want something that's fast and reliable, the iPhone 5S may be for you. Now, there are people out there that just are into this stuff and they want the power and flexibility of Android. So you gotta ask yourself what kind of experience you want. But no, these phones are completely different experiences. Let me know what you get and how you like it. Good luck, Mooney. Next question speaks to a common problem when people are moving from iOS to Android. How do they move their iTunes library? Neo Illusion asks, Hey Jace, can you recommend some iTunes alternatives to listen to music and sync data? So yes, and the solution is Double Twist. I've used it for a number of years. I've bought all their upgrades. They're fantastic. You do need to download it, not just to your Android device, but to your desktop, whether it's a Mac or PC. Then within the Double Twist program, you drag and drop from the iTunes library to your Android device. Now it's not just a good syncing tool from iOS to Android. It's also just a good media player for both music and podcasts. Check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching Android Army and today's show question to win the t-shirt wherever you are in the world is the following. You hear a lot of rumors about the upcoming Galaxy S5, but I'm asking you to take an educated guess on what those specs will be. Will there be a curved display? Will it have an iris scanner or a fingerprint scanner? Will it have a Snapdragon 800 or an 805? Give us in one or two sentences your educated guess and why you think Samsung will choose those specs. Good luck to all of you. Love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Android. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin, and Christopher's back. We got to welcome him back. Good luck, and I shall see you in the next Android Q&A.